In this video, we are going to learn how you can back up your WordPress website to Google Drive. Let's get started. In order to back up our site, we are going to use Updraft Plus. Okay, so we already have Updraft Plus installed over here. You can see Updraft Plus backups. So if you guys want to install this plugin, you can simply go to plugins and click on add new plugin over here. And from here, you can search for Updraft Plus. And here is the plugin. We want to download this plugin, Updraft Plus WP Backup and Migration Plugin. So to install this plugin, simply click on the Install Now button. And once the plugin has been installed, click on the Activate button to activate it. You will find Updraft Plus over here in the settings. So if you hover your mouse over settings, you can see that Updraft Plus Backups is over here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And here is the Updraft Plus. Here you can see there's the backup now button already here on top so by clicking on this button you can back up your website but before we do that we are going to take a look at few other settings so here you can see that we have some backups over here we made some backups previously and you can see the dates of the backup over here and you can view the database plugins themes uploads and others from here you can restore with one click and you can also delete the backups if you want okay so all your backups will show up over here what we are trying to do is actually back up our WordPress files and folders to Google Drive so for that we are going to take a look at the settings tab over here here you can see there are some options so we are going to go through some of these the first option is the files backup schedule so you can schedule files backup so currently the manual is selected if we click on this drop down you can see there are some options over here such as every two hours every four hours that means if you select these your website will be backed up every two hours so for example I don't make much changes to my website so I can choose monthly so my website will be backed up every month if you make regular changes you can choose daily and here you can also see and retain this many scheduled backups so how many backups will be retained since your website will be backed up regularly every day your WordPress files and folder will be generated you can actually choose how many of these backups will be in store so if one is selected when your website is updated the previous files and folders will be removed if you for example choose two your website will be backed up and two of these backups will be retained. So you can choose the number of backups you can retain. Again, you can also back up the database here. You can choose daily and choose how many of these database uh, will be retained as well. Next, we can choose our remote storage. So you can see there are a lot of options such as the updraft vault, FTP, S3 compatible, Dropbox, Microsoft Azure, pCloud, Amazon 3, and so many more options. Among all these options, we can also see Google Drive is also here. We are going to choose Google Drive. But before we do that, we have to connect Google Drive with Updraft Plus so that Updraft Plus can save our files and folders in the drive. If we scroll down, here are some more options. Include in files backup so what things you want to include in the backup plugins themes uploads you can also add exclusions if you want to exclude some uploads so if i click over here you can choose the file and directory all files with this extension all files beginning with given characters files directories containing the given characters in their names so there are many ways to exclude files and folders the simple one is the file directory so if i click over here i can actually choose which file or directory i want to exclude again if there's something else you want to exclude for example all files with this extension for example if i want to exclude all the audio files that i have for example mp3 i can write over here then all the mp3 files will be excluded Again, all files beginning with the given characters. So you can choose this and type a file prefix and then you can click on this add an exclusion rule. All those files will be excluded. So there are various ways to exclude files and directories. Again, you can see there's uh, the must use plugins. None are present currently, so we're not uh, selecting it. Any other directories found inside WP content. We can also exclude it from here. You can see the same rules are over here. 
And finally, there are some more options, which is the email. Check this box to have a basic report sent to your site's admin address. The email will be sent to our admin address. If we want, we will be notified about it. Okay. So once you go through all these options, once you're sure, now we are going to uh, connect Google Drive. So from here, we're going to choose Google Drive. And here you can see some more options have popped up. Here you can choose the Google Drive folder, uh, which will be named Updraft Plus. To be able to set a custom folder name, you have to use Updraft Plus Premium. Since we're using a free version, we cannot change the name. Again, here, authenticate with Google. So let's read for a moment. After you have saved your settings, then come back here once and follow this link to complete authentication with Google Drive. So it's also asking us to save changes. So first we're going to save some changes. Now you can see uh, it says you have selected a remote storage option which has an authorization step to complete. Follow this link to authorize access to your Google Drive account. You will not be able to back up to Google Drive without it. Okay, so we are going to sign in with Google. Now here we can choose an account or we can click on use another account. So we're going to choose an account. Okay, then we have to sign into Updraft Plus. Okay, let's click on continue. And then it says Updraft Plus wants to access your Google account. And we can see uh, some of these options. See and download all your Google Drive files. See, edit, create and delete only the specific Google Drive files you use with this app. Okay, so we can click on select all or we can just uh, manually check all of these and then we can click on continue. And here it says to complete setup for Google Drive, press the button below. This will take you back to the Updraft Plus settings on the site. So this is our domain name. You will be able to send backups to Google Drive. Here we are going to click on the complete setup button. And it has brought us to our WordPress dashboard and in the Updraft Plus backups tab. And now we can click on settings once again, although it's not necessary, but I want to show you something. Here you can see Google Drive and it says something new. Authenticate with Google. You appear to be already authenticated, though you can authenticate again to refresh your access if you've had a problem. So if you're facing any problem, you can try to access once again. And also, if you want to change your Google Drive account, you can come here and change it. OK, so we're going to go back to the backup and restore. And now we are going to click on this backup button. So let's click on the backup now button. And here it's asking us take a new backup, include your database in the backup, include your files in the backup, send this backup to remote storage which you have to keep selected. If you click over here, you can see the following remote storage options are configured. So Google Drive is selected. We are going to send our files to Google Drive. And now we are going to click on Backup Now button. And our WordPress website is being backed up. So let's give it a few seconds and wait for the backup to complete. Okay, so our backup is complete. Now if we scroll down, here we can see something new. The latest backup that we made here there is the logo of the Google Drive and once we hover our mouse over it, it says Remote Storage Google Drive. Okay, so now we can restore our backup just by clicking on this button. We can also delete the backup if we want from here. So that is how you can backup your WordPress website and store the files to Google Drive. So that brings our video to an end. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.